How you doing folks? WBK here talking about what works on eBay and Amazon and pretty much any platform by extension because what works somewhere works most places. Why would you listen to me? Well, I've been selling online since I was in high school. That's a long, long time ago. It's been more than half my life. And I can tell you that some things just work and it's not the things you think. It isn't list five items a day, you'll make money guaranteed. No, but it is kind of like that. Number one, you have to have a system. You have to have a system because with the system, you're keeping track of what you do. And as you keep track of what you do, you can refine that to have the best results. Everyone wants to have a starter set. Buy these things, list these things, make this money. It's not that simple. Markets change. What's available to person A might not be what's available to person B, which again, might be totally different than what's available to person C who's over there in the North Pole or whatever. It's gonna depend on one, what you're good at. Do you like books? Do you like clothes? Do you like sports cards? Do you like video games? All that stuff. What do you like? What's around you? What can you consistently put two or three hours a day into over the course of years? Not weeks, years. Because that's how you'll make money, having a system that pertains to things that interest you that you can reliably and routinely put time into. Secondly, do people want this stuff? Can they use it? Now this is kind of against the popular current because right now everyone says digital assets, NFTs, that's the way to go. And I, I don't think so. I think there are a lot of people who are gonna make a lot of money selling NFTs, uh, but there are more people, like nine out of 10 people, I think, I don't know, are gonna lose money on these. So ignore NFTs, focus on things that have tangible value. Now sports cards, Pokemon cards, that's a gray area, but at least you can hold those in your hand. You can give them as gifts. They're not just speculative investments. There is some enjoyment that most people get out of those. But for the everything else out there, golf clubs, hiking equipment, pans that you use for cooking, cookbooks, all that kind of stuff. If there are people out there that want it, if you can sell 10 items a day of any particular niche, and if those items sell for between 25 and 100 bucks, there is a side hustle in it for you right there. And it might not just be selling stuff. Maybe you're gonna have to go into your own production of private label. Maybe you're gonna have to have social media. Maybe you're gonna have to have things for sale on eBay, Amazon, etc. But if there is any significant routinely daily movement and the market's not flooded and it has some sort of utility or purpose to it, and it's not just a speculative investment, then you can make money doing that. And if you can put in three hours a day for a year, you're gonna make a lot of money doing that. What are the odds something works? Well, obviously it differs based on the idea, but probably for every 15 new things I try, one sticks. And for every one that sticks, one out of every 10 probably is actually a really good idea. So would I say between one, you know, 1% 1 to a half percent of all your ideas are gonna be worth pursuing. How many of those ideas are worth testing out? Basically every single one. If you don't have a reason not to do something in terms of your business, in terms of experimentations and content, you should be doing it. So you can at least write it off your list. Just because it didn't work for someone else doesn't mean it might not work for you and vice versa. Just because it does work for someone else doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. You always wanna be testing things, running through ideas, taking the good ones and just destroying the bad ones, totally separating yourself, divorcing it from any current conscious thought. Once you do that, you are well on your way to starting your own business, be it resale, be it content, be it wholesale, be it anything that somehow provides value to other people that you can fine tune into a better process. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all about your specific business idea, you want to brainstorm, you want to talk out loud, put in the comments below. And if you're one of those people who thinks, well, my idea is so good, I can't share it because somebody's going to steal it. I'll only tell it to you if you have an NDA signed. You're wrong. Your idea is not that good. Just talk about it. I guarantee you're better off communicating ideas openly than trying to bogart your genius because I don't want to be a jerk, but you're probably not a genius. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. And as always, don't be a shithead.